Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B. Welcome back to another food shopping haul. Today I went to Lidl. I've not done a food shopping haul in so long because I've been mixing up the shopping videos with Costco come shop with me, home bargain shop with me, some different things. So today, as I said, Lidl, ignore, ignore this strap. This is what happens when you have curly hair and then you brush it. Top tip, don't brush curly hair if you have curly hair. So today I spent 48 pounds, not pictured behind me that you will not see that has been well and truly eaten by the children is one cheese twist, one giant jumbo pretzel and a cookie. So 48 pounds, including that. <laughs> so let me show you guys what I got. Here is an overview of everything that was purchased today. I think there's quite a lot of food here. I will explain more. I do apologize if in the background you can hear um, <laughs> any children because I've got very full house today. I've got all my kids who are shouting at each other uh, because they're trying to tidy rooms and it's not happening, keeping it real. <laughs> and I have full house with dogs and stuff. So it's very busy in my house. So I do apologize. So we'll start over here with the fruits and veggies. We've got these little fun size easy peelers. I don't know if they're just regular easy peelers. Some red seedless grapes. A bunch of bananas, or I think they're called bushel. I've said this before, I'm pretty sure they're called bushel. A large avocado. Now, it said that this avocado was perfectly ripe. No. Like, it says ready to eat, if you can read that tiny writing. It is not ready to eat. Let's not lie about this. It needs, like, another two days to ripen, for sure. Some leeks. A pack of frozen blueberries. And fresh blueberries. These ones are good just for like munching on just straight out of the fridge. These ones I use them for smoothies and cooking. Some extra fine beans. I normally just buy the regular green beans. They're like 50 pence cheaper a packet, but these ones looked much better. The other ones did not look good at all. So I sprung for the extra and got those ones. A bulb of garlic, some cauliflower, some romaine hearts, some white potatoes. These are just like the cheapest potatoes Lidl do. They're just white potatoes, they're not Maddis Pipers, King Edwards, whatever. Nope, they are really good, they work well, they're going to use, be used for tacos and cottage pie. I've got a bag of carrots, some gala apples. Recently I heard someone calling these gala. Gala? I thought they were gala. Tell me, do you say gala or gala? <laughs> and then a bag of Granny Smiths some brown onions. These are the tiniest onions I've ever seen in my life. They literally look like shallots. They are so, so tiny. I don't know what's going on. This whole bag was only 48 pence. So, I mean, it'll be fine, but I don't know. <laughs> it was just, they just seem so tiny. And then I got a two pack of these peppers, some medium oranges, a couple of sweet potatoes. I don't have any plans for these, but I thought I could just chop them up and like, roast them, like maybe minute fries or something, sweet potatoes are my favourite. They are so good. And then two cucumbers. I hate that they put everything in so much wrapping in Lidl. That's the only thing I feel that really lets Lidl down. I love Lidl's produce. I think their fresh produce is great. I love their fridge stuff. Like everything's just really, really good. Genuinely, that is how I feel. Hence why I go there every week. But I just hate that they put everything in so much plastic. Like they sell reusable bags now, which I have, like little mesh bags, but they don't have anything to put in them. It's ridiculous. The only thing they had loose was like courgettes, which I didn't buy any of, or what do you guys call courgettes? Across the pond zucchinis. Um, they only had them loose and that was about it really. Sometimes they have carrots loose, which is good, but today they didn't, hence the bag. And the loose carrots, are slightly more expensive than the carrots in the bag. I I wonder why that is. And obviously they have bananas loose, but they, you can get them loose everywhere. But yeah, that kind of lets me down. Like I feel, I don't love that about Lidl. Like step up your game, Lidl. Just didn't put this in plastic wrap. I take it home and I wash it anyway. So doesn't really make much of a difference. Please, please ditch the plastic. And then I got these, this is all the meat that we got today. I have been following the keto diet recently. It works very well, it's a very good diet, but if I'm honest with you, I just didn't feel that good eating that amount of meat and cheese. It was just, no, I don't know. <laughs> and I just feel like I was always craving like 
just the most simplest of thing, like a sweet potato, like I was just craving a sweet potato or craving a sandwich, like nothing even, like, or roasted carrots, I love roasted carrots, can't eat them on keto, so I've ditched that for now, I'm like a pure, like a yo-yo person, I'm like, oh, I'll do this one week, oh, I'll do this next week, that's why I just stay chubby and, you know, hey-ho, just embrace it, but anyway, the only meat I got was these sausages, I don't have these in the meal plan, I'll chuck them in the freezer, 70 pence, that makes me happy, sometimes you can get them for 20 pence, if you get in there first, so that, that makes me extra happy. And then I got some beef mince for the cottage pie. I got these for Thomas. These are dark chocolate soya desserts. They do have a lot of sugar in them. Except they're low in fat. Sugar doesn't have any fat, but they're low in fat. So, you know, as if like that's good, but actually there is quite a lot of sugar in it. So do be careful with this kind of stuff. Broccoli, bagels, some little fromage fries for the children. I got these for Sunday for after church. On a Sunday, I feel like nobody in our house wants to cook, which is fair enough. Sometimes I will cook like a meal the day before and then we'll just reheat it. I tried these last week from Lidl, they're like Lidl own brand and they are so good. These ones are the hot and spicy chicken fillets. See when I took them out of the bag, like that is like what they look like. They look like KFC, like a wicked zinger, like that's what they look like. And they taste so, so good. Honestly, they're really, really good you get four in it as i said and they are i think one pound 65 that is a bargain see if you're trying to do like a fake away or if you don't know what fake away is it's like fake takeaway so you make takeaway at home it costs a hell of a lot less this is one pound 65 so add some rolls to this like 50 pence for rolls a bag of fries is like a pound you've literally got four kfc burgers and fries for like three pound that is ridiculous. Honestly, it's they're definitely worth trying. I really, really do rate them. And then these ones are for the kids. Southern Fried Chicken Goujons. They love these. I put them last week in a wrap with like salad. I put like lettuce and onions and cucumber and cheese. And they loved it. They gobbled them up. And then some roasted salted peanuts for the kids. They love these. See like a little, like just a little dip. I have little dishes. This is what, this is what a dish is. <laughs> a little dish filled with these peanuts. The kids love them. They're great for a little snack. Some soft cheese. Plain flour. I already have loads of plain flour. Plain flour. But I'm making a big, big batch of pizza dough this week. So I needed more plain flour. So if that's super interesting. White bread. Some oaty biscuits. Some gravy. This is Bisto gravy. <laughs> I always laugh because like I, if you notice, all of this stuff, apart from that, because Lidl don't do these, but like all this stuff is Lidl's own brand, like the cheese, like everything. I love Lidl's brand, but their gravy is bogan. <laughs> it is, it's just plain and simple bogan. If you're not Scottish, bogan means like disgusting, dirty. It's just not good. It's nae good. So I always buy the Bisto one. It's only like... I think it's a pound in Lidl, so it's not even expensive, but I always buy Bisto. Some spaghetti, some fruit bakes. These are just like cereal bars, kind of like neutral grain style almost. They're very, very good. They're very Moorish though, so don't eat them all. I mean, eat them all if you want. It's probably not, I don't know. I mean, it's probably like half your day's calories. Don't eat them all, but they are very, very good. I have to put them away and say like, oh, these are for the kids. Otherwise, I would just eat them. Some macaroni. This week I'm making Jamie Oliver's green, mean green macaroni, something like that. You can Google it. Just type in Jamie Oliver um, meat free macaroni. And because it was on his meat free program on Channel 4, oh, it looked so good. You put leeks in it, broccoli in it, you make your cheese sauce. It looks really, really good. And then moving on to tins. I always buy quite a few tins. Didn't have any chickpeas this week, which was super sad. The chickpeas and Lidl come in a box mixed with these. So sometimes you see this and you think, oh, chickpeas, chickpeas, but it's not. But anyway, I knew there was none I could see. I searched through like four cases of beans. There wasn't any. So I got two things of butter beans because I'm thinking if I'm mashing them up, like making stuff out and then mashing them up, nobody's probably going, even going to tell their butter beans because I don't like butter beans. I think they're disgusting but they'll probably be fine, like mashed up and made into something or whatever. So got them. I do have chickpeas. I think I've got like one or two tins still in the cupboard down here. And then probably got some in my food storage that I could use if I need to. Two tins of cream of tomato soup for my boils. They love tomato soup. They've not had it in about, I don't know, two months, but a little tin 
between them with some bread on the side and then you could do like carrot sticks or cucumber sticks it's really good they just they just eat it up two tins of red kidney beans a tin of sweet corn this isn't something i usually use but jamie oliver again and jamie oliver should get in touch with me <laughs> he had a recipe in the tesco magazine that's out just now and it was for chickpea and sweet corn burgers and I made them and I had tinned sweet corn in the cupboard, that's what you were to use and Thomas says they were really really good so I didn't really try them but he said they were good, maybe he's lying, I don't know, <laughs> just be nice to me. So I just kind of always keep a tin of this in, in the cupboard, we don't usually use it, I don't know how long the other tin had been there for but it's good to just have it I guess. A tin of chopped tomatoes to make my own salsa for the tacos, some dairy free spread then I've got four cartons of passata for like spaghetti. I'm making million dollar spaghetti and like pizza sauce, that kind of thing. Three packets of these mini tacos. They're so cool. Well, not mini tacos. They're mini wraps for tacos. I always get the wheat and white. I don't know if they're any better for you. Maybe the, I don't know, like how much wheat flour is actually in it as opposed to white flour. I'm not sure, but I believe wheat flour has like more fiber and stuff which helps you, I don't know, helps you poop I think. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on, two cartons of soy milk. I'm gonna make the mac and cheese. I'm gonna try it. Do you think you can use unsweetened soy milk to make your white sauce? I'm gonna Google that before I try it and waste it, <laughs> but I think you could. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. And I got these Aberdeen Angus, Angus steak crisps, I don't know, they looked good. I was hungry in the shops, so you know, there we go. Then non food stuff, non food, non food scooters, scouters, some cotton buds. Now, I know these are not great for the environment in regards to plastic, so well, oh, then yeah, this is paper. Okay, so these are paper, not plastic, but I don't know if that's probably still bad. I've seen some people use bamboo cotton buds. Has anyone used them? Are they good? Let me know in the comments or over my community tab. Let me know what you guys think or if you have any alternatives for cleaning your ears. That's really what they mostly get used for. Some thick bleach. Now this, this bleach, every single time I do a food shopping haul and I've bought this, don't just like randomly talk about it, but I always and always, always go on about how good it is. It's 50 pence, it's Lidl's own brand. It is so good. There you go. <laughs> Saved you all my spiel, but honestly, it's so good. It works better than anything else I've ever tried. It's so unbelievably cheap, honestly. Give it a try for 50 pence. If you don't like it, you've only spent 50 pence, but it is so, so good. It gets like everything off your toilet. It really, really cleans it. It's so good. And then I got these antibacterial multi, I can't speak today, I'm tired. <laughs> multi surface wipes. It says tough on household and kitchen bacteria. Now, Again, it's a whole lot of plastic in here. I don't use these for general day-to-day -day cleaning. The only thing I use these for is scrubbing my toilet because I don't really want to use a cloth <laughs> on my toilet. I make my own spray for everywhere else. I'll put a link to it up here. I make it myself and it's got no chemicals in it. It's really good. I'm not trying to sell you like stuff. You literally make it from stuff you have in your cupboard. It's really, really good. But as I said, toilet, uh -uh. I would rather use these wipes. So this will last us like between, I don't know, six to eight weeks I want to say because you get 80 wipes in it. I probably use about 10 a week between all my toilets. That's not that much I don't think. Yeah and they're pretty cheap and they work well as well. And then some shaving gel for shaving funnily enough. And that's my haul guys. What do you think? Did I do good for 48 pounds and some pennies? I think you did. So the reason you can save money is by not buying a whole load of meat or dairy. So obviously I appreciate this as meat. I appreciate this as meat. I appreciate this as meat. But most people would have meat for every single meal. Out of the week, we're only going to have meat like twice. So here and here. These will go in my cup, in my freezer. Don't put them in your cupboard. You'll probably die. These will go in my freezer. And will last for a really long time. And then in my fridge, these are Sky's drawings, do you like them? <laughs> but in my fridge, I have, oh my gosh, Thomas Buchanan, you are so, oh, I'm gonna kill you, look. He just put that in there like that. Thomas, you and me are getting a divorce, mate. But anyway, <laughs> I, well, I still have a lot of stuff left. Oh well. But anyway, 
up here if I remember to swallow. Lidl had a deal on at the weekend. You could get these blocks of cheese for 99 pence. Bargain! I got some and they are going to be in my fridge. They don't go to date. What date was that? January. So you can keep them in your fridge for a really long time instead of spending full price. And then this is a bag of mozzarella I bought last week for pizzas and we didn't use it. So I don't need any mozzarella. But just ignore that. Oh, Thomas, man. Honestly, you drive me insane. You drive me insane. But anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to go and get these kids now because I can hear them saying to each other, I hate you. So good times in the Buchanan household today, guys. And I will see you on Friday for a foodie Friday. Bye.